welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is another bake with me, clean eating style. We are going to be making two smart point snickerdoodles. You heard that right, snickerdoodle cookies for two smart points. So if you wanna see today's recipe, stay tuned. So here's what you're going to need for these clean eating snicker doodles. You guys, I can't believe we're gonna have a two smart point snicker doodle with full clean ingredients, nothing fat free, nothing sugar free. How amazing is that? So let me show you what is in our snicker doodles. First you're going to need some almond milk or milk of your choice, coconut sugar, almond flour, baking soda, maple syrup, some type of nut butter. I'm gonna go ahead and use this sunflower butter. I heard this is really good in these cookies, but you can use peanut butter, almond butter, whatever you have on hand. And also some vanilla and some cinnamon. Now, just so you know, my sunflower butter and my coconut sugar are both from the Thrive Market. There's a link down below for $20 worth of free product when you join Thrive. Highly recommend thousands of good, whole food products at exceptional prices with free shipping. So check out the Thrive Market below, but let's make some cookies. So the first step is to take three quarters of a cup of almond flour and add that to a bowl. We're also going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna do half. And then we're also going to add in some cinnamon. So however much you want, it calls for about a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to give this a quick mix before we add some additional ingredients. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of almond milk. So again, I'm using the cashew milk. You could really use any milk or milk alternative of your choice. So we're going to add in one and two tablespoons of that. We're also going to add in one tablespoon of pure maple syrup. This maple syrup I got from Trader Joe's. You can use any maple syrup of your choosing. So one tablespoon of that. That is actually what's going to add a lot of the sweetness to our cookies. And then we're going to add in two tablespoons of nut butter. So this is that sunflower butter from Thrive. And I just went ahead and weighed it out on my food scale. It's so weird. I tasted it and it literally just tastes like mashed up sunflower seeds. So I think it's actually going to add a nice texture and flavor to this cookie mix. And then we're going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're going to give this a stir. And that's it, you guys. It's super, super simple. This is what's going to create the dough for our cookies. And then we'll get these ready to put out on a parchment lined baking dish. Next, we're going to take about a tablespoon size cookie scoop. I did buy these off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for you guys. And I lined my cookie sheet with parchment. We want about 10 cookies out of this batch. So we want them about a tablespoon or so big. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out my 10 and cookies and then we'll be ready to get these into the oven these are going to be so good and can you believe two smart points and clean eating wow so I ended up getting nine cookies total. It does not affect the smart points. So I'm gonna put these into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or just until they are cooked through. But wait, before we put them into the oven, we wanna kind of push these down into a cookie shape. Someone needs to read the directions, Jen. So we're gonna go ahead and push these down just so that they resemble more like a cookie. And then these will go into the oven at 350 until they're cooked through. So we need to put together our snickerdoodle topping. So we need half of a tablespoon of coconut sugar. And then we're just going to add a little bit of cinnamon to that. Give it just a quick stir. And we're gonna sprinkle this on top of our cookies before they go into the oven. the porch in the night thinking I will used to be way back in. all right I just pulled the snickerdoodles out of the oven these look really good so I'm gonna let these cool and then I'll be back to show you our completed cookies and we'll go over the smart points all right so here they are these smell so cinnamony and delicious and again you guys two smart points that is it for an entire cookie made from real ingredients, nothing fat-free or sugar-free, two smart points. So 
enjoy some clean eating snickerdoodles. Thank you for coming along with me on another clean eating bake with me. Oh my goodness, these cookies are delicious. And can you believe a cookie for two smart points full of clean ingredients, nothing artificial, low fat, sugar free, and absolutely delicious. So always, always put good whole clean food into your body and these cookies are no exception. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do all things WW, clean eating, grocery hauls, tips, tricks, you name it, it happens here. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love these bake with me's and leave your comments down below. Are you guys gonna give these cookies a try? So good. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.